Um, so this is uh, day one of unit eight, and we're talking about average value. And, and it's it's a little confusing on the one end, and then it, I'm going to kind of sound like I'm contradicting myself because I'm going to ask you not to think too hard about it on the other end. So sorry about that uh, dichotomy going on today. But we know we have an average rate of change, right? And an average rate of change is a derivative. So far, so good, because it's a rate. And so the idea is when you when you have something, let's say I have um, distance, and then I'm asked for the average rate of change of the distance, then I am asking you to differentiate. But when I have an average value, then I am what I'm asking you to do is average the value of the Where's my pointer? My pointer. Average the value of a value you were given in the problem statement. So, for instance, average value. Average value would be like, give me the average position. That wouldn't be an average rate of change in position. That means I'm asking you to take all of the positions and average them. Does that make sense? So, you, so you're giving me back like an average distance away that you would be. Okay, so um, it like I said, it's kind of it's kind of takes some getting used to, but you got to kind of ask yourself: Am I being asked for a rate of something I have, or am I being just asked to average a current value that I have? And so the, today, what we're focusing on is averaging a value that you were given in the problem statement. So. This that so that's that's the first thing to get used to is just the vocabulary, okay. Now this these next um, three points, I this is where I I don't want you to think like think about it too deeply, okay. Visually, the average value is a height of a rectangle. It's the top of a rectangle, okay. Um, algebraically speaking, if it's the top of the rectangle, it means it's a horizontal line. Algebraically, that means it's a constant function. Does that make sense? Because constant functions are horizontal, right? They don't change. The values don't change. Okay, it's it's kind of a different look. So, in other words, if we have if we have this region and I want the average value and that region is bell shaped where it's got a bigger bottom than a top, then is the average going to be in the middle? It's going to be closer to what? Top or bottom? Bottom. Where it's going to be closer to the area where it is the widest or the or the um, or the uh, where, where most of the area is resting. So the average value might look something like this. Where, or maybe it's a little bit higher. This rectangle, hence the term constant function, right? Y equals whatever this value is, the area of this rectangle. Is the same as the area of this irregular shape. So all of the stuff up here basically gets chopped up into little bits, and some of it gets stuffed here, and some of it gets stuffed here, so we can make a rectangle. Does that make sense? And so if green and brown have the same area, that means. If I, if, uh, no, let me use brown. It's wonderful colors today. Then if I integrate, I guess I could say from, I'm going to say from A to B, but A certainly does look like it's zero here. I can integrate this function from A to B. That's good. That, that's going to represent the area of that brown region, right? That whole brown region. Which means that mathematically, numerically, it's the same area as the green rectangle. Does that make sense? And then if I take from A 
need to be, if I take that width, that's how wide the rectangle is. Does that make sense? So if I take this area and then divide it by B over A, excuse me, divide it by B minus A, that width, then I'm going to get the height or I'm going to get that average value. Does that make sense? And so that's how we get that average value, that top of the rectangle. And so that average value has an equation of Y equals whatever that constant value is. Doing okay? All right. So that's kind of the takeaways from uh, the notes. Um, so we're looking at that, you know, let's say I'm going from zero to eight. Okay. And the other way to write that is like that. I know it seems really kind of monotonous that I'm, you know, showing you two ways of writing it, but I've seen people get messed up and look at this and say, oh, I don't have that nice fraction of area over width, but you do, they just factored out the width. And sometimes they even go one step further and they just call this one eighth, okay? When it's up against zero and you have to recognize that is, you have to recognize the eight is the width, okay? So don't, don't get caught up on that. Um, so it's kind of a pitfall for some people. Okay, so what is the average value of a function? The average value is a constant function. It's a horizontal line. The area under which has the same value as the integral of the original function. So in other words, the green area, the area under the constant function has the same value as the area of the irregular shape. Okay, and then I like to refer to it as the height of the rectangle. It's the height of that green rectangle. Um, we've got some topic questions today and we've got notes for tonight. And then the first um, assignment is in con right now for average value. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and, and jump into those topic questions, crank those out. Con will be popping up in just a few minutes. Uh, but I want you to work on those topic questions. 